for today's project I will be building a desk that I hate to admit but I've actually know it's a good thing right I've actually had this desk in my house for about three and a half four years I ordered it thinking that I was actually gonna put it in my room and I just never really got the chance to return it and then I passed the return policy so I was like you know what I'm just gonna hold on to it I might have a future use for it in another space or if I rearrange uh, things in my condo and lo and behold that is what's going on I'm doing a little spring refresher summer refresher I guess and I realized that I actually have space for it as I was making room in my entryway because uh, in my previous video you guys probably saw you saw that I kind of revamped my entryway with swapping out the old shoe rack for a newer for a more concealed shoe rack just to make the area look more polished so then I'm also on the fence between adding a coat rack above the shoe rack or right next to the shoe rack I do have closet space I just figure out do I really want to nail holes in the wall above the shoe rack or do I want to just utilize the closet space I have I realize you know what let me just utilize the closet space and that's when I found my Sawyer desk which was purchased from Crate and Barrel they still have it it's like a staple classic uh, piece of furniture at Crate and Barrel and with that being said for my entryway I'm going to just utilize the closet space and make the area above the shoe rack more decorative. I already opened up the packaging. Let's get started with today's build. So before I start any building project, I always like to take everything out of the package and align all the pieces with the directions. The directions for this desk was pretty straightforward. A few of the pieces were already pre-assembled. So that made life a bit easier, especially the shelf, which I mentioned earlier. And while I put together furniture, I always love to listen to podcasts and catch up on my favorite audiobooks as well. So I'm like utilizing my time while I'm building. So it's always a plus. This was relatively easy and really, really quick to put together. And voila, there she is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm really happy with it. It wasn't that bad to put together. And I really appreciated the fact that the desk, this part was already assembled because you guys know I've assembled enough desks from IKEA. Any brand that can just expedite the process and do that for me, I'm just grateful. So I really like this desk. I purchased this from Crate and Barrel in 2017 and so I knew it was like three to four years ago but actually on the label they posted the year that it was um, produced so I was right 2017 and I actually tried to look for the link and I couldn't find it but I found something similar at um, CB2 so I'll just include a link of I'll try my best to find similar desks to this or the exact same one if I can, but I think it's really cute, really functional, and where I'm gonna put it in my living room, I love it because it can just double as a desk if you wanna just sit and study or if I wanna bring my laptop there and do work without like messing up my living room and you know how things are organized. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.